Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you've got that morning routine taken care of today, dressed down to your lace-up shoes, and ready to go with your day. We are finishing up in our master bedroom today, and your mission today is to clean out under your bed. For some of you, that's going to be a very easy thing to do. For others of you, you might have a few extra things under there. So pull the stuff out, do a quick sweep and a quick mop under your bed if you have um, wood floors or laminate floors like I do, or get the vacuum cleaner out, do a little vacuum. For those of you with the Fly Lady Carpet Sweeper, that is an excellent tool to use to clean out under your bed. It picks up the dust bunnies, pet hair, whatever has uh, found its way under there. So evict those little colonies of dust bunnies. You don't need to keep them under there. You will breathe better at night if you take care of your master bedroom, get rid of the dust, and get rid of the dust bunnies. So work on that today. If you've not finished in your master bedroom, spend 15 minutes doing whatever you need to do to finish it up. And then post a picture down here in the comments. Let me know how you did this week. Show me your progress. On the blog this morning, I have a before and after picture that one of my listeners sent. She did a fantastic job, and she now has a peaceful retreat every night when she goes to bed. And once you get your bedroom or any room in your house decluttered, it's just a quick thing to maintain it. You start training yourself not to pile things up. You put things away. You find a place for it, or you declutter it. A few of you have been a little bit confused about what decluttering actually is. Decluttering is actually getting rid of the stuff, throwing it away or giving it away. If you're just moving it around from place to place in your home, that's not decluttering, that's just putting it away. When I talk about decluttering, I want you to get rid of some stuff. I've had people give me ideas on different things that they've decluttered this week and they've told me how many clothes they've gotten rid of and shoes and sent pictures and I love it. It makes me happy to see you guys making progress. For our home blessing today, we've got three left in my house. We need to sweep, we need to mop, and we need to take off the trash. I have four boys home with me this morning, so I have plenty of help. And we'll work together as a team. The older ones need to do a little bedroom maintenance themselves, and they've got laundry to do today. So we're just going to move along from one thing to the next and do what we need to do. I have my grocery shopping later, and I've been sitting down here. I've got my menu plan out, but... I'll hold it up and show you. I have not filled in next week yet. So I've got to decide what we're going to eat next week and then make my grocery list so this afternoon I can do my grocery shopping. It all flows together for me week after week after week. And there's really not a lot of stress in my menu planning because I keep it simple and I try to use things I have on hand and watch my budget. I'm working on a talk for the Michigan Homeschool Conference next month on freezer cooking which is really not cooking so much as it is dividing up some foods and putting them in zipper bags, labeling them. This is something I can do as an Instapot meal, something I can do as a Crock-Pot meal, and I just have the ingredients together to make it quick and easy to pull them out and put it together. There are times when I double a recipe and I freeze half of it for a later meal. I've done that quite a bit over the years. Sometimes on Monday, I'll do bulk cooking. Either I'll cook a lot of chicken that we use for two or three days. I'll cook 10 pounds of ground hamburger, and then I use it different ways. We can do spaghetti. We can do tacos. We can do a cheeseburger bake. We can do beef stroganoff. We can do shepherd's pie. There are lots of things I can do if I just have my ground beef cooked, and I try to plan it where I'm buying it, the meat either on sale or getting a good deal, buying it in bulk at Sam's. And then I make my menu plan accordingly so that I'm getting the best use out of it and also saving time. Because I know you're like me, you don't have a whole lot of extra time to spend an hour or two in the kitchen cooking. And so I try to find ways to save that time so that the next day I don't have quite as much to do and hopefully even the third day. Um, I do have a whole turkey in my freezer that I need to thaw out at some point in the next month and cook it. So we would have, and then we could move on into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday with leftovers. I've made turkey pie before, there's turkey sandwiches, and there's 
like a turkey soup that you can do. You can use the carcass to make um, bone broth. So there are a lot of ways you can utilize the turkey and I bought mine on sale for probably 59 cents a pound, 69 cents, 79 cents, you know, really inexpensive. And I just have to bake it overnight and it's done. And it'll feed us for two or three days. And you don't just have to have turkey at holiday time. You can have it any time. So I need to work on that. Um, I know that we have a meal coming up at church one Sunday, so I need to think about some bulk cooking for that. So there's quite a few little things I've got going on in my head for this menu plan. Really, it's for next week and into the next week. We have a wedding coming up in June. Been working on that menu. Been talking to the caterer for the rehearsal dinner. Just lots of little things going on, but it's really exciting. I want to paint a bedroom and redo the flooring. So I've got my master list, and then I pick something and do a small part of it each day. Or maybe just even once a week. But I break those big pop projects down into small steps. I use my sticky notes during the day to keep me on task. I know what I need to do next. And then I move on. So let me know if you've got comments or questions. You can post them down here on Facebook. For those of you who watch this on YouTube, you can also post questions and comments over there. Email me at Tammy at TammyFox.com if you want to send me a picture of your completed master bedroom. I want to see how well you've done. This month we practice the habit of making our bed daily. I want to know how you're doing with that. As you start seeing the progress and feeling the peace, you're going to want to maintain it. Have a fabulous weekend. If you don't have anything planned for Family Fun Day on Saturday, plan something up, get outside, enjoy the beautiful spring weather. I will see you guys back here on Monday.